welcome to Thunderstruck. Today we're looking back at our club brush. Cut! Cut! Cut. This is supposed to be the musical edition. You're in the wrong week, honey. Huh? Remember, we have madrigals and everything. Are you sure? Yes, just trust me on this one. Okay. Take two. Okay, bring on the madrigals. So let's try our fun again now. For this we all have planned. For the show, the music fills the air. Let's hand it to the band. And you know it's time for sports now. In sports we never lose. Here we are, one, one down, down, one team. So we don't have to choose. Thanks, girls. Speaking of music, this school is filled with it. From people playing piano for the lunch crowd, to halftime performances at football games, to organized band concerts. You are sure to hear music filling the air at White Chess. All right, hi everyone. I'm here today with Robbie, the A-Lunch pianist. Many of you may have seen him or heard him play, and we're just here to ask him a couple of questions. Why is it so significant to you? Uh, it's really just been a hobby, really. Really? I've just done it in my free time, and my mom had a 19-something keyboard, only 66 keys, short on the range and no pedal. And I always used to play with that with my brothers, but I, I just took it a step further, I guess. That's really cool, man. So how long have you really been, like, practicing seriously, like, religiously? Uh, three years. Right on. What's, uh, what's your favorite piece to play at the moment? I think it's Sorrow. Would you like to play that for us? Sure. I'm here with Mr. Pressler, the band director. We're going to ask him a few questions about TMR. So how's it going now after the pandemic? So, thanks for asking, Michael. TMR is the uh, YHS Thunderbird Marching Regiment. This is our marching band and our color guard. And, you know, they're, they're doing really well. It's a smaller group than before. Um, we've always been a smaller marching program, but we've always been really competitive and performed really well. Um, this one is even smaller. A lot of people are nervous about kind of what's going to be available after the pandemic and after the, um, things open up again. But we've got a small but mighty crew. They're, they're performing really well, and they're already impressing a lot of people. So how was the first concert after almost, what, a year and a half? How did that go? You know, yeah, it was, it's been a year and a half since we had a full uh, official concert. Uh, before the pandemic, my students and I went and played for judges. They did great. Then, it, then we had shutdowns right away. Uh, so a year and a half later, we've got our concert and symphonic band finally having a live performance again. It felt great. The students performed really beautifully. Uh, first quarter, we had more to cover than normal because of the shutdowns. We got to perform some, like practice some, when we were at home. But it's not the same as practicing as a group. So this first quarter, we had to really make up for lost time. They played really well. Concert and symphonic band really impressed me with how much they covered covered in just one quarter and the audience really seemed happy to be there as well. So would you say there is some significant changes after the pandemic with the Thunderbird Marching Regiment? Definitely the size. I mean, this is the smallest marching band and color guard I've ever worked with. But they are proving that you can still make great music and do great routines with a smaller crowd. They're really impressing me. Um, I hope, though, that as the future years come, uh, that more students will feel um, ready to come back and join this kind of activity. When people come up and say, like, hey, great job, you sound good, it, it, it really helps. 